Hey guys, I know it's been a long time since I've had a video, but I am back and today I wanted to give you a little bit of tour around our garden in February. So it's the end of summer for us and I need to warn you, it is a little bit of a mess, um, but it's pretty typical for us here in the subtropics just to let everything go. Um, but just wanted to keep it real and let you know how everything is going in our garden. So let's get into it. So here is our lovely backyard garden. Um, we're in a bit of a transition stage at the moment. Um, so these are all of our raised beds. Um, and we've got over in this garden here, I've just started a new crop for um, January. So that's all stuff that I've planted in January. Aside from that cherry tomato right there, um, that was actually a, um, a cutting from an existing plant that we had going. This front garden right here, um, so that's when I started in December and that's cucumbers and carrots are growing there. Um, a leftover kohlrabi from actually autumn. So that's still going with obviously some basil and some radish things that have just self seeded around the place. Um, we're actually growing these suyo long, suyo long uh, cucumbers. Um, and I'm actually finding them really, really good, especially for storage. They're not rotting as quickly as the Lebanese ones. Over in the back, we've just had, uh, can you see that there? Over in the back garden there, that is our um, corn. So we've just finished, uh, they're actually ready to co come out. I need to chop those down. Um, so that's our uh, mini blue popcorn. So they're lots of fun to grow with the kids. Um, it's probably one of my favorite popcorns to grow over glass gem and some of the other varieties out there. Um, it's just, it just seems to be, easier to grow. Over in this back corner we've just finished off some snake beans and we've got some um, purple kings growing. In the middle we've got some peanuts um, and in the back corner we've just got perennial things. So here's um, my little friends that come down and have a bath in the bird bath. They are actually keeping my grasshoppers under control so they're more than welcome to stick around. Just moved to around the back. Um, we've got here our wicking bed here so this pumpkin is actually growing in the wicking bed we've also got some really cute blue butterfly peas growing up there and i want to get some snake beans it's actually been a pretty bad year for um bean fly for us basically what happens is they lay their eggs on the leaves and the larvae hatches out through the stems which can make the plant collapse uh, i've never had them before but since moving out here they're pretty pretty epic so in the back corner is just um my perennial bed. So I've got the Madagascan bean growing up along that fence. It's been really good to take the heat off this area during summer. So how the view from the sand pit has changed. We've got the trampoline over there now, um, but these plants have certainly taken off, especially with all the rain that we've got. We've actually got some bananas under that uh, bag there ripening up for us um, we have a family of possums that live in the trees in the park there um, so we're trying to keep that well protected the possums aren't too bad here um, all of they are doing is um, trimming the passion fruit vines along the perimeter they don't touch that Madagascan bean um, so we'll see how we go with actually getting some ripe bananas um, but this has really changed we've had um, our coffee beans over here these coffee beans have taken off and so that has helped with we've also got a um, peppercorn vine growing in there and that's really sort of kicked into gear with having that extra shade so this is our, our food for us it's sort of this was area was real problematic um, for a long time and what we found really helped here was adding a layer of um, wood wood chip mulch it has just gone gangbusters since we've done that here is our aquaponics uh, it's a little bit it looks like it's doing okay it's actually not doing much aside from the loofers that are growing up here um, we've just sort of reconfigured it a bit so you can see the tanks are over here now um, but what I really want to do this autumn is really clean this out and actually make this productive. We've actually gotten a lot of strawberries um, from it um, and I've been using it as a propagation station. As you can see, I've got this salvia going nuts here, which I need to get out and plant into the garden, but that was basically a cutting. Um, there's also sweet potato growing in there. And for the first time ever, we're actually growing beetroots in here. So that was a bit of a surprise. I actually chucked them in after moving them out of a bed that I was clearing out. Um, 
So it's good to see them kind of thriving in here and I might give them a bit better crack in here um, over the cooler months. So this is probably one of the biggest changes we've made and we've only just done it this weekend, but I don't know if you remember, but this used to be a mandala garden out here. Um, so it was a big circle split into quarters and I was rotating around those beds. I just found that it wasn't a really good use of space and I figured out I can fit three of these size beds and this is a 1.2 by three meter. So this is one of our best spots for growing in winter because it does get a lot of the, the midday sun. So usually from around about 10 o'clock through to sundown, it gets the most sun in our garden. Um, it's obviously shaded at the moment because there is a big gum tree to the right there. But um, basically this area now, I wanna get these big beds and really pump up the game here for autumn. So at the moment, we're still trying to fill it. <laughs> um, I am not gonna buy soil in ever again. Uh, I've learned that lesson too many times. Um, so basically, these are actually old birdies beds. Um, we had, um, from, if you have been following me for a while, you might've seen them around in our garden. They were just little 90 by 90. And we actually just got some scrap corrugated iron to make the huge parts here. And we just joined them all together. It was really, really easy. Um, we're going with metal here on out because we do have a white ant issue eating our um, beds. Um, and this is just going to be way better, lots more space. So as you can see, I've got a pile of junk that I've just um, cleared out from here as well. So we're just going to tidy up, do paths and things like that. But I'll give you an update next month and show you how we're going with this. So the final part of our garden is this front garden. This is our sweet potato zone at the moment. And yes, it does look like a mess. We've got a Hawaiian guava over here, which is really producing but my problem is i haven't netted it so i'm going to lose all of that fruit to fruit fly um so this area we're going to plant out all of our garlic in this zone in autumn so it's really i'm probably going to harvest these sweet potatoes earlier than what i normally would and we're just going to do an in-garden bed um get rid of the pigeon peas up the back they've done their job they've shaded it for summer um and also some of these um, perennial basils that we've got growing here i love a good perennial basil to fill in a space but there comes a time when they need to go so stay tuned for this area we've got an in-situ compost bin happening over there just to help with um, our garden prep for our garlic which we'll be planting um, the end of next month so i'll give you an update on our um, prep of soil for this area as well We've also got a wicking bed right up the back. I don't know if you can see that net there. Um, it's not doing too well, so we might just have a look at it, see what's going on with it as well. Maybe decommission it and turn it into an aquaponics grow bed. So we'll see how we go. So this time of year, we're starting all of our autumn crops. We grow our um, tomatoes over winter, over the cooler months. Um, we just get better harvests and there's less problems. Um, so I'm doing a, a few different varieties this year. I'm doing the San Mazzano, which is our favorite always go to. We're doing an Amish paste and just a regular Roma. Plus I've got a bunch of other ones like your standard cream, a brandy wine, some cherry tomatoes, everything sort of on the go here. Um, so I started these ones back last month, these tomatoes. Um, and these are the ones with, that we're just starting now. So all of our um, broccoli and all of the sort of onions, spring onions and beetroots and Swiss shards, we're getting those going right now, ready for that next growing season, which is our biggest and best. Thanks for coming on uh, the video tour of our garden here in February. Uh, if you want to see more, please make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel to keep me motivated to keep going. Uh, if you want more content, um, I do have a lot of podcasts and a lot of blogs over on my website, lovedirt.com.au. I'll link below. Um, go check us out and until next time, see you later guys.